Hi, welcome to this Court Maths video. In this video, we're going to look at the video solutions to the volume of an L-shaped prism practice questions. If you need any extra help on finding the volume of an L-shaped prism, if you go to courtmaths.com forward slash contents and go down to video 358, there's a video tutorial there on how to find the volume of an L-shaped prism. But in this video, we're going to focus on the video solutions to the practice questions, so let's get started. So question number one, here we've got a diagram of a prism. So here we've got this prism and it's an L-shaped prism and we're told the cross-sectional area, so the shaded area in green is 32 centimeters squared. And we wanna find the volume of the prism. So to find the volume of a prism, we would take the area of the cross-section, this 32 centimeters squared, and we just multiply by how long the prism is. So in this case, we'll just do 32 multiplied by 20. And if we do 32, the area of the cross-section multiplied by the length, we'll find its volume. So 32 times 2 would be 64 and then times by 10 would be equal to 640 centimeters cubed. So whenever we take the area of the cross section 32 and multiply by 20 we get the volume which is 640 centimeters cubed and that's it. Okay let's have a look at our next question. Question number two. Question number two, we've been shown a diagram of a prism. So we've got an L-shaped prism here, and we've been asked to find the volume of this prism. So to find the volume of this prism, we're going to need to find the area of this cross section, this L-shape, and then we just need to multiply by how long the shape is. So that's 10. So let's find the area of this cross section. So I'm going to divide it. I'm going to divide it into a rectangle. So we'll cut it across here. I've got this rectangle, which is nine centimeters long. And if we look here, we've got three. So that means that that's three. So we're going to do nine times three. And nine times three is equal to 27 centimeters centimeters squared. So that's the area of this rectangle. Now if we have a look at this rectangle up here, the whole shape has got a height of eight centimeters and this part's three. So it means that this part must be five centimeters and that means that that's equal to five centimeters. So we know the height of this rectangle is five and now we just need to find the width of it. Well the width of the whole shape is nine centimeters and the width of this part is five centimeters. So if we do nine take away five that's equal to four centimeters. So this rectangle on the top here it would be five by four it would be five centimeters by four centimeters because if again if we look at the height it's eight centimeters if that's three that's five and then if we look at the width of the shape of that the whole width is nine and that's five that must be four so five times four is equal to 20 centimeters squared so there if this rectangle would be 20 centimeters squared and there if this rectangle is 27 centimeters squared so if we add them together 20 plus 27 that would give us the area of the front of the shape so 20 plus 27 would be 47 centimeters squared so the area of the cross section is 47 centimeters squared now we just need to multiply by how long the shape is which is 10 so if we do 47 times by 10 that's equal to 470 centimeters cubed so the volume of this prism would be 470 centimeters cubed Okay, let's look at our next question. So question number three, we've got this prism, it's an L-shaped prism again, and we've been asked to work out the volume of the prism. So to get the volume of this prism, we need to find the area of the cross section, so the area of the front of the shape, so this part, and then we just need to then multiply by 15. So let's find the area of this part. So I'm going to chop it this way this time. And we've got for this rectangle, we've got 5 times 12, because it's 5 wide and 12 high. So if we do 5 times 12 is equal to 60 centimeters squared. So that's the area of this part of the, the cross section. Now if we look at this rectangle, let's get its measurements. We've got its length. Well, let's look at the width of the whole shape. That's 11. And this is 5. 11 take away 5 is equal to 6. So we would have a length here of 6 centimeters. And in terms of the height of this rectangle, the height of the whole shape is 12. 12, this part is 9 centimeters, so 12 take away 9 will be 3 centimeters. So if we do 6 times 3, that's equal to the area of this rectangle, and 6 times 3 is 18 centimeters squared. So that means to get the area of the cross section, we need to add together our 60 centimeters squared and our 18 centimeters squared. So 60 plus 18 is equal to 78 centimeters squared. That's the area of the cross section. Now we just need to multiply by how long the shape is, which is 15. So 78 multiplied by 15 is equal to 1170 centimeters cubed. So that's the volume of that prism. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So question number four. Question number four, we have been given a prism and we have got, it's an L-shaped prism as well. You've got this L-shape on the front and then we know how long it is. It's two meters long. And we've been asked to work out the volume of the prism and to state the units of our answer. Now, if we have a look at our measurements here, we've got 3.8 meters, 2 meters, 1.6 meters, 90 centimeters, and 3.3 meters. I'm going to change the 90 centimeters into meters. So let's divide it by 100, so that'll be 0.9. So it's 0.9 meters. So we've got 3.8 meters, 2 meters, 1.6 meters, 0.9 meters, and 3.3 meters. So we're going to be working in meters in this question. And we want to work out the volume of the shape. So let's get the air of the front and then just multiply by how long it is, which is 2 meters. So let's look at the front and let's chop it. 
So I'm going to chop it this way. And in terms of this part here, we have got this bit is got a height of 3.3 .3 meters. That means that this length here is 3.3 .3 meters. So 3.3 .3 meters high here. Let's multiply by how wide the rectangle is. So if we look at the top here, we've got 1.6 plus 0.9. And 1.6 plus 0.9 will be equal to 2.5 meters. So that's got a width of 2.5 meters. So if we do 3.3 multiplied by 2.5, that would give us the area of this part of the cross section. So whenever we do 3.3 multiplied by 2.5, that's equal to 8.25 meters squared or 8.25 square meters. So that's the area of this part of the cross section, most of it. Now we've just got this little bit we need to find the area of up here. So in terms of this part, well we know that this is 3.3 .3 and this is 3.8, so this must be 0 0.5 meters, this part. And in terms of the width here, we've got 1.6 meters. So if we do 1.6 multiplied by 0 0.5, that's equal to 0 0.8 meters squared or 0 0.8 square meters. So we're going to do 8 0.25 meters squared plus 0.8 meters squared and that'll be the area of the cross section which would be 9.05 meters squared or 9.05 square meters so that's the area of the cross section now we just need to multiply by how long the shape is which is 2 meters so 9.05 multiplied by 2 is equal to and the answer is 18.1 meters cubed and that's it Okay, let's have a look at question number five. So question number five says, shown below is a prism. So we've got this prism, and we're told the volume of the prism is 3,815 centimetres cubed. Work out the height of the prism Y. Now, whenever we find the volume of the prism, we get the area of the cross section, and we multiply by how long the shape is. So whenever we've got the area of this cross section, we would then times it by 35, and we would get this answer. So if we take the volume and divide it by how long the shape is, we can get the area of the cross section, and that's going to be very useful. So if we do 3,815 divided by 35, that's equal to 109. So that means that the area of the front of the shape is 109 centimetres squared. Now let's try and find the area of the cross section. So let's see what we can do here. So we have got here, we know that this is equal to 6, and we know this is equal to y. So if we do 6 times y, that would be 6y. That's the area of this bit, 6y. And then in terms of this part of the cross section, this rectangle, the whole width of the shape is 16 centimetres, and this is 6 centimetres. So that means that this part here must be 10 centimetres, because 16 take away 6 is 10. And this height is 4, so that means that this height is 4 centimetres. And if we do 10 times 4, that's equal to 40 centimetres meters squared. So that means that 6y plus 40 must be equal to 109. So that's an equation we can write. We can write 6y plus 40 is equal to 109 because the area of the cross section is 109 and we've got the area of this part is 6y and the area of this part is 40. So 6y plus 40 is equal to 109. So let's solve our equation. It's minus 40 and minus 40 or take away 40 from both sides and that would give us 6y equals 69 and then divide by 6 and divide by 6 and we get y is equal to and 69 divided by 6 is equal to 11.5 so 11.5 centimeters so that means the height of this prism y is 11.5 centimeters and that's it Okay, let's have a look at our last question. This is question number six. And question number six says, shown below is an L-shaped prism. So we've got this L-shaped prism, and then we've got this triangular prism. And it says that both prisms have got the same volume. And we've been asked to calculate Y, which is the length of the triangular prism. So let's find the volume of the L-shaped prism. Then that would be the volume of the triangular prism, because they've got the same volume. And then we can get the area for the front, the cross section. And then if we divide the total volume by the area of the cross section, that'll be the length. So let's do that. So let's start off with the L-shaped prism. Let's get its volume. So let's get the area of the front and then multiply by 20. So in terms of the front, if we look at the front here, we have got this is 5 centimetres. That means that this is 5 centimetres. And 5 times 18 would be the area of this part. So 5 times 18 is equal to 90 centimetres squared. So that's the area of this part of the cross section. Then in terms of this part of the cross section up here, the whole width for the shape was 18 centimetres, and this is 10 centimetres, so that's going to be 8 centimetres up here. And then in terms of the height, the height of this part is 5, the height of the whole thing is equal to 16, and 16 take away 5 is equal to 11. So we're going to do 8 times 11, 8 times 11 is equal to 88 centimetres squared. So in terms of the cross section, that's going to be equal to, let's scroll down a little bit, it's going to be equal to 88 plus 90, which is equal to 178 centimetres squared. So that's the area of the cross section. Now we just need to multiply that by how long the shape is. So we're going to do 178 multiplied by 20, and that's equal to 3,560 centimetres cubed. 
So we've now found the volume of the L-shaped prism, which is 3,560 centimeters cubed, and that's going to be the same as the volume of the triangular prism. So it means that this triangular prism has got a volume of 3,560 centimeters cubed. That's the volume of this shape. Now, in terms of this shape, we know that if we get the area of the cross section and multiply it by its length, that's equal to 3,560. So if we can get the area of the cross section, we can then divide the volume by that area, and that tells us the length. So let's get the area of this triangle. So remember, the area of the triangle is half the base times the height. So half the base times the height. Half of the base, well, half of 22 is 11. So we're going to do 11 times 12, and that's equal to 132 centimeters squared. And then if we divide the volume by the area of the cross section, that'll be the length. So if we do 3,560 divided by 132, that's equal to 26.969696 and so on centimeters. So the length would be 26.969696 and so on centimeters. Let's round that. Let's round it to two decimal places. That'll be 26.97 centimeters to two decimal places. Two two decimal places and that's it so the length for that prism would be 26.97 centimeters to two decimal places and that's it so these have been the video solutions to the volume of an l-shaped prism practice questions i really really hope you find this video useful if you have found it useful please like it please subscribe to the youtube channel and thanks so much cheers bye